Do you want me to sit forward? Do you want me to sit? I feel a little bit no, no, relaxed no. like that. Yeah. Well, I, I feel really excited about this album because I've been working in music for almost 21 years now. And when I started this album, I feel very different personally. I feel like I've entered into a new chapter in my life and I felt it was very important for my music to reflect that. And I'm a fan of so many different genres of music. I always have been. And I've always been a pop artist and I will continue to be a pop artist, but it's just been really lovely this time to really create a new sound, which is a more electronic sound, more than I've done in the past. So when I went into the studio and I worked with lots of collaborators, I work with on every record, and then I also met some new people. And my only rule was, there are no rules. It's, it's quite easy, I think, working in pop music to stick to a formula. And when you're signed to a major label, often you have, you know, you have to compromise sometimes. You have to, you know, do things a certain way where you want to get airplay on radio or, you know, there's just certain guidelines that people expect pop music to, to fit into. And it was really nice to go, throw the rule book out, you know, let's just do our thing, let's be creative. And I haven't strayed that far away because it's all I know, you know, all I've done is, all I've ever done is pop. Um, but it was just nice and I think listening to lots of influences from in the 90s, like Massive Attack and Bought His Head, and then listening to lots of new artists now, like Jack Garrett and Murr, and it's, there's so much electronic music in the mainstream now that it was nice to kind of to just find my, feel my way, because I'm a mum mature pop artist, so I can't, can't be like one of the kids. I, you know, my lyrics are very important, and my, I suppose some of the things I tackle, and my experiences are a bit more adult themed, just because I'm older. But it was just nice to really freshen up the sound. Is the short answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I made The C in 2011, it was released in 2011, and I love the album, and it was, and I'd call it a real typical Melanie C record, you know, it was pop, there was a bit of rock, there was a couple of ballads on there, you know, it was very much the kind of rhythm I'd got into, and when I went back into the studio, I was like, I don't want to do that again. You know, I love The C, it's a great record, and I just didn't, I just didn't want to repeat myself. So I thought about something I had always wanted to do was an electronic record. So I was looking back to the bands I loved and always returned to, like Massive Attack, Portis Head, Zero Seven. And, um, and then kind of when I was meeting my new collaborators and they were introducing me to new things and I was discovering new things, it kind of more of the, of the, the, more, um, the more current influences came. I did something else different on this album. I, I kind of lived in between, rather than focusing on making a record, and that's all I did week in, week out. As I've done another records, you know, I've gone from session to session to session, and sometimes you kind of oh, get a bit of writer's block or you feel like you're repeating yourself. But with this one, I worked and I lived, and lots of changes happened in my personal life as well as my professional life. And I think that just gave me so much more ammunition and inspiration to write from.